unlike something uh, like the resurrection of Christ, mm -hmm. where there are multiple witnesses at various times and places uh, whose testimonies kind of provide a kind of chorus of people who said, we saw Jesus alive from the dead and we could actually visibly witness this. The uh, virgin birth of Christ, of course, took place in the womb of one person and nobody else was around at the time. Yeah, there's a lot of misinformation and just uh, misunderstanding about the uh, historicity of the virgin birth. Now, this is the nice thing about the Gospels. On the one hand, yes, there are these differences that are very surprising. Sometimes it's a little bit difficult to harmonize them. But on the other hand, we have strong evidence that this the reason why that's the case is because these are narratives based on eyewitness testimonies from people who didn't necessarily talk to each other before they gave their information. So that strengthens our uh, confidence in their contents. And so you really have at most two witnesses or eyewitnesses of relevance here. You have Joseph who saw an angel and was told about this, and you have Mary who found, about, uh, found out about this. Uh, by the Annunciation of the Angel Gabriel as well. So there are only eyewitnesses, and we don't have any texts from them directly. However, uh, I argue that the Gospel accounts in Matthew and Luke derive from Joseph and Mary, and there's good evidence for that. If you read Matthew 1 to 2, it's all told from Joseph's point of view. If you read Luke 1 to 2, it's all told from Mary's point of view. That can't be a coincidence. What's going on? In fact, they're told from such different points of view that none of the passages within those two chapters are shared in common. Oh, there's no common narrative block of material that they're both giving in just slightly different words or something. It's entirely different blocks of material, and yet they agree on a number of basic points about what led up to the birth of Christ. And, and all of these things kind of converge together to provide two independent accounts of the same basic fact. That tells me this is based on something that really happened. Joseph and Mary are the likely sources of information. So even though we can't provide the kinds of compelling uh, testimonial evidences that you would get in something like the resurrection of Christ, uh, we do have surprisingly decent evidence that this actually happened.